It took me like 15 takes. Brent will attest to that one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Anthony here with Empire Music and EmpireMusic.com. Showing off a new bass in the shop today, but I think it's an old one that's been around for a while, although I don't know how long this color's been around, but it's new to us. Um, this is the Mike Durnt from Green Day Signature Precision Bass. Near and dear to my heart, I mean, I remember back in, geez, I'm gonna really date myself here, in 1995. <laughs> um, like, dude, Green Day Dookie was like the record, and it was probably a big part of the reason why I play bass, why I play music in general, is when that when that record hit. I remember my buddy, I'll shout him out, Adam Henderson, what's up, man? Uh, longtime friend, in fact, we both share uh, close birthdays, which we both just wished each other happy birthdays this week, last week, actually. And um, I remember we were both like into Green Day, and I remember sitting in like science class, if I'm not mistaken, and he played drums and I was just getting into bass. I'm like, let's start a band. And like literally the foundation of that was like, let's play like Green Day stuff. Cause that's like what we knew. And it was like accessible music and you know, full of angst and full of, uh, you know, it was fast and it was just, we were just really into that stuff. So again, near and dear to my heart, little, little side note there. But the bass is super cool. Um, it's, it's got a road worn urethane finish on it. Obviously shape wise, it's in like the early fifties um, like the first half of the 50s uh, P bass here, like 50 to 57, uh, the P bass setup, which looks kind of like a Telecaster, small headstock on there, and kind of the, the Tele look here as far as the body. And it's got like the block body on it, so really no cutaways other than a little bit of a bevel here. High mass bridge, which is awesome. Um, a custom vintage 59 split coil pickup in it, which sounds great. Real throaty, a lot of output to it. And then you have just uh, tone, volume, ash body, like I said, road one urethane finish on it, rosewood board, nine and a half radius, and a thick C neck. So it's sort of right in between what would get from like the 50s U into like a 60s oval C. Sort of like a, it's kind of right in the middle ground between those guys. Obviously, like I said, the, the thin headstock. Oh, and I think it's 1.6 or 1.59 at the nut here. So. Uh, kind of close to jazz bass spacing there, so it's right in between modern P and typical jazz bass spacing. And uh, kind of like worn tuners up there. Really cool sounding bass. Um, I'm impressed with this guy. And I play like a Mexican series Nate Mendel bass a lot. This is very similar to that, I think, as far as feel. Uh, synthetic nut too here. It's kind of the one, the one things that you might want to change on that eventually. Maybe not. Who cares, right? Just play bass. Um, sonically, what, do, what you get out of it, like I said, real P bassy, but with like a little extra oomph to it. Obviously, I was playing with a pick, albeit poorly at the beginning. Uh, we'll jump into kind of my well, more my wheelhouse or how I would normally approach playing a P bass, or just maybe even just bass in general. <laughs> um, kind of see what we get out of some tones that are a little bit more typical of what, what I give you out in the video here. Just move our hand around, see what we get out of it.
So a pretty versatile base considering like who the signature artist is. And I mean, that always goes to show you like, you know, a P base, generally speaking, whether it's, you know, like the Steve Harris, or this is the Mike Dern, like I play the Nate Mendel one a lot. Um, they're, they're really, really versatile instruments. And if you're playing with a pick and hitting heavy, it's gonna excel at that. If you're finger style playing light, It's gonna sound really good too. So we'll roll some tone off and just kind of see what that's like. See where we're at here at like 75, which every time I say that it ends up being too much tone off. For my taste, not for yours. I still regret the day that I said no one ever plays with the tone off. I still get comments on that thing that people do. And in fact, I do too now sometimes when I'm messing around with pedals. A lot of times I wanna get some cool synth sounds. I'll roll that all the way back. But I digress. So we'll go to about 90, where it always ends up being for me. Yep. have it man pretty straightforward bass this is the mike durnt signature bass from fender need anything call me at the shop 412-343-5299 you can email me directly anthony at empiremusic.com if you're on our website um hit this chat with an expert feature up in the upper right hand corner if you're looking at the screen um and you can get right to myself joe or todd ask us any questions that you need and i'm always here to help you guys thanks a lot